Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a very exciting video. My Un's Eye and Angelica Nice Fist Halloween collection has finally arrived. So today we're going to be trying everything out. I'm not sure whether I'm going to do a look on each eye or whether I'm just going to do one look today um, with my favourite palette because I do have other things to film after this. So we'll see how it goes on. I might end up taking the first eye look off and doing another one. Um, but without further ado, let's get straight into it. I'm very excited. Today's beverage of choice is a strawberry milkshake. No caffeination today, just a lot of sugar. So, um, first off, we got these two little cute plushies. This one's got a little rainbow tail. And this one's a cute little bat. I, I don't really know what's going on with these, but they're pretty cute. What am I going to do with them? I have no bloody idea, but there we go. Then we got a scarf, as always. I'm going to be honest, I don't really do anything with these. But part of me thinks I should, like, attach it to my handbag because it is super cute. Um, yeah, yeah. It's, it's really cute. Um, it's got the, like, skeletal Angie on the packaging, which I just think is the most gorgeous graphics. Um, but, yeah, they're not the exciting bits today. So I did get the whole bundle. So I've got um, both the eyeshadow palettes and all five of the lip products. Let's do the palettes first. The first one... This one is the Trick or Treat palette. And that's what this one looks like. This is definitely your more like conventional autumn palette. We've got some oranges, some neutrals, some greens. Um, that This green shimmer here looks absolutely to die for. But this is definitely the most neutral um, Odin's Eye palette that I have in my collection. I would say this one even pushes the Flora Story out the way for the top spot of most neutral, but it is very autumnal, so I do, I do get it. And then this one is my favourite, which you probably already worked out. This is the Little Ghosts palette, and this is what this one looks like inside. This is so me. Blues, pinks, purples, warm tones, oh. This is just, this is gorgeous. Not a neutral inside. This is such a me palette. I absolutely love it. I do think they look really nice together. You can definitely tell sort of what the theme is. I saw somebody say they're not very sort of on theme for Halloween palettes, but to me, oranges, greens, purples are very on theme. So I think they are great. And as I said before, the packaging is just stunning. Whoever does Odin's Eyes graphics is so incredibly talented. Um, I did hear somebody say they thought they were a bit spooky, but I really love them. Um, if you've been a regular watcher, you'll probably know I've got a degree in forensics and anthropology. So anything kind of bone related is right up my street. And then we've got the five lip products. These are in like an ombre orange to lilac kind of vibe these are really pretty and then they're just two foot applicators nice and big so we've got two glosses two mattes and something they call a radioactive which from what i've seen like people wearing it and from what i've seen from the swatch i did myself this is almost like a lip oil so this is Oh, sorry, it's a glow and the shade is radioactive. So this is the glow formula. And as I said, this is the shade radioactive. And it's just like a very, very sheer kind of oily lip gloss, which that is that one there. Then we've got the two, these are just called shines. So the first one is spectral. This is a more kind of pinky nude. Kind of just a perfect everyday nude there. And then we have the shade Quicksand, which is something a little bit different. It's like an orangey brownie nude. Um, not something I personally have a lot of in my collection, just because I am more of a pink tone nude gal, but it's really pretty. And then we have two mattes. Now the way I describe these is like a clay formula almost. Um, I have seen a couple of people compare them to the Kaleidos liquid lipsticks, which are, are called clay, 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 I can't remember. 
Um, but they are like a clay formula and I've seen people compare those, these to those. I know Angie loves the Kaleidos ones, so it would make sense. So this is the first one, this is Swamp Frog. And I don't know whether you can see from that swatch, but it is kind of like moussey and you really have to like spread it out for it to look even. I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel about these on the lips, but we will see. And then the last shade is Shadow Creature. And this one is like a dark pinky nude. They kind of somewhat remind me of like a thicker version of the Soft Matte Lip Creams from NYX. But that is all five of the shades together. I do really like them. I personally would have loved like a really dark shade, but I get why they kind of stuck with the nude theme. And just very much a bright eye and a nude lip kind of person, so. And then, as always, we get a cute little like message card. I just love the kind of pastel -y vibes. Um, very cute. So, okay, what am I gonna do? Do I wanna do two looks? Do I wanna do a look, take it off, and then do another look? Maybe. Sorry. Let's do a look with each. Why the hell not? We're gonna start with the Trick or Treat palette. As I said, definitely my the one out of the two that I perhaps wouldn't go for as often. Um, but I'm gonna see how much of a colourful look we can pull out of here. I'm gonna try and use these oranges and the greens and see what we can do without it being too neutral. Now I was gonna swatch these for you guys, but I think probably by now you've seen about a thousand swatch videos. So I'm just gonna get straight in and we're just gonna use them on the eyes. I think what I might do is like a green into the red, into the orange, sorry. And then the dark green into the dark red. Let's see, let's let's go for it, see what happens. So I'm gonna go in first with the bright green. This is Poison. And I'm gonna pop this one in the inner half of my lid. I have got some Too Faced Shadow Insurance Eyeshadow Primer on, as per usual. This green is incredibly vibrant, wow. Okay. I mean, we're off to a good start. Not that I really expected any less. I know some people don't love the Odin's Eye formula, but I find it works amazingly for me. Um, it's just so vibrant and so intense, which is something that I absolutely love. Once that is kind of blended in, because we're gonna use this as our transition shade, we're gonna sort of begin to lightly blend that up towards the brow but not making, not kind of reducing any of the intense pigment like in the inner corner. I just want to blow it out a little bit. Honestly, it feels so wrong to be doing this look right now because all of a sudden the weather over here has got, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not gorgeous, but all of a sudden it's gone really muggy again. Um, and I'm really not vibing with it, to be honest. It is just not for me. I much prefer either proper sun or nothing, basically. Um, so I'm gonna take another small brush and I'm gonna go in with the orange, which is called Jack-O-Lantern, which is this one here. I don't know how these are gonna blend together, but we'll see. We have got this like howl shade, which I feel like could sort of transition them into one another. But it's gonna be quite Halloween-y, which was not my original intention when I looked at this palette. But it is, like using these shades actually, I think it could possibly be brighter than it looks on first impression. So we're just doing exactly the same we did with the green, with that orange, just making sure it's nice and blended up. They've actually merged together pretty well. It's not gone too like muddy. I always think if you can blend a shadow into a shadow of a completely opposite and non-corresponding colour, then you know you've got good shadow without it going kind of gross and mucky looking almost. So as I said, just doing the same with the orange as we did with that green, making sure it's nice and blended up. And then I am just gonna go back in and intensify that green where it meets. I've sort of almost not blended them together really, they're sort of just meeting in the middle. 
as those kind of two spooky Halloween colours. Why do I feel like this eye? It's just a completely different shape. Okay, so we've got the crease down. Then I'm going to go in with the same brushes and I'm going to do the same with the darker shades but a little bit lower. So this one is Cauldron. This is like a really deep moss green. So I'm going to go in lightly with this one because I don't want to completely eclipse that kind of vibrant, like toxic waste kind of green. That's the vibes it's giving me. I'm just going to start blending those in. I'm hoping we don't get a lot of fallout today, but with Odin's eye shimmers, <laughs> I might have uh, might have been wrong to do my foundation first. That is so intense. That is beautiful. It's definitely is one of those shades like with you would do with a black. It's definitely worth kind of building it up and not going to hell for leather on your first step into the pan because it could end up very 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 dark my right eye no my left eye the left eye is really playing me today it just doesn't want to look as good as the other one does <laughs> oh and then we're gonna take a little brush and i'm just gonna intensify that green again because we have kind of lost it and I'm going to kind of blow that out a bit further out towards the brow bone. Looks great on the left eye. Uh, no, looks great on the right eye. Not looking so hot on the left. Okay. And then we're going to do exactly the same. We're going to go in with Candy Apple, which is this kind of red deep brown, I want to say. But maybe it is truly red. We'll find out in a second. And we're going to do exactly the same thing I just did there. Okay, so this is kind of more like a... It's like a burnt orange brown, I would say. Definitely darker than that orange, so it's working for what we need it to do. I'm just going to, again, do the same thing with the orange. We're just going to go back in and intensify that, and I'm just going to try and buff this out a little bit better on this eye because it doesn't look as good as this one. Hashtag wonky face problems. Um, so we're just blowing that out. Okie dokie. So that is really cool. I really like the way that looks. Okie dokie. Let's do the lid. The exciting bit. Why have I not got a flat brush? Right, okay. We've not got that much of a flat brush, so I'm going to use a Zweeva Look Smoky Shader. I think I went on about how I like this for shimmers. In the last video I did, um, this isn't actually dirty. Just... Right, I don't know what I want to do for the lid. So we've got this kind of mint, which is called Magic Potion. We've got Full Moon, which is like an orangey yellow. We've got Molly's Curse, which is like a pale yellow. And then we've got the kind of darker shades, but I think I want to do something lighter. So I think we'll do Magic Potion. Now this is where I end up, I'm not going to put any glitter glue down yet, I'm just going to, oh, okay, oh, wow, okay, that is stunning, Odin's eye shimmers are always gorgeous, but this is just like a glittery dream, oh my gosh, I don't know whether you can see how beautiful and glittery that is in the view, in the camera, because I can't see the viewfinder well enough to uh, know. But that is stunning. Okay, all over my face like. Let's just take a brush and brush that away. Doing my foundation first was definitely a bad plan. But there we go, what can you do? Right, we are gonna do the exact same we did with the green and the orange under the lash line. I'm just gonna do the lighter shades, I think. So I'm going to go in with poison and what I'm actually going to do is flip them. So I'm going to do the green underneath the orange. Just to give it a bit of dimension, a bit of, you know, something kind of to look at. 
So we're going to pop the green on like so. And then I'm going to go in with the orange. And we're going to pop that on the inner corner. Then I'm going to take a little tiny teeny brush. And I think we're going to go in the inner corner with full moon. Which is the yellow. Because I think that would be perfect to tie the orange and the green together. I'm going to make sure... As I always do with my inner corner, that it's going up to meet that orange. And it's going up to meet the green, because we don't want just like a floating ring of colour. Okay. Ho <laughs> ho! I'm obsessed with this look. I like this part. Why does this happen every time with Odin's eye? I try the palette and I'm like, oh, I like this better than I thought I would. And then we'll figure out what we're going to do on the what. Oh, magpie. Okay, I really love the way this one looks. I think I'm actually gonna go for a lighter lip. So I'm gonna do the lighter matte and the lighter gloss. So lighter matte, this one is Swamp Frog. Okay, that is actually a lot smoother than I expected from the swatches and nowhere near as dry. Was it was it me? I've just realised I've put concealer on this chin spot and haven't even blended it on. There we go. Um, that is so much smoother than I expected it to be actually. It feels really good on the lips. I'm gonna top off with quicksand. Oh, that is a beautiful pair, and I think it goes so well with this look. So. Let's just take my fringe down so I look like a semi-normal human. So this is the look with the Trick or Treat palette. I'm going to go, I'm going to take this off and then I'm going to come back and do a look with the Little Ghost palette. Okay, so I now know why I don't film these two looks in one day videos because um, taking that off was not easy. Um, I'm trying not to disturb the rest of my foundation. Um, I'm pretty sure I've got cleanser in my eye, but anyway, we roll. Let's move on to the Little Ghost palette. So I'm very excited about this one. I'm not sure what I want to do. I think what I might do is some blues, but I really want to use this banana taffy shade. So I think I'm going to use that in the inner corner maybe. So, I'm going to take a bit of a bigger, fluffier brush this time. This is the G322 from Give Me Glow. And I'm going to take Ghoulish, which is this really gorgeous light blue shade. Now, I've only got concealer on my lids this time, just because there was a lot of green that I needed to cover up. Um, but hopefully, you know, it shouldn't make any difference. Okay, so this is... I don't want to say it's light in pigment, but it is very, very white based. Like, I was hoping it would give a bit more of a punch, but I, it's not like I don't like it. It's just not quite what I expected from the shade. Like I said, it is quite light um, and quite white based. So definitely for me, this one is a blending shade. It's probably not what I would use. Um, sort of as a part of any particular look other than to sort of blend out the edges because it's just not quite what I wanted from that shade. I was hoping it would be more like a bit of punchy pastel blue. Don't get me wrong, it's got a nice amount of pigment. It's just not quite going to hold up, I think, against some of these like really deep blues and these gorgeous darker shimmers. Okay. So that's done, we are going to do, okay, so I'm going to use the P. Louise, this is one of the ones that was in the palettes, um, it's just a little flat brush, and I'm going to start off with Haunted, which is this like medium blue here, and we're going to start by pressing this into the crease, I think I'm going to do a halo eye this time, 
like as you can see pressing that in there's just sort of eclipsed that light blue so i'm actually going to go back in with the give me glow 322 and that light blue i'm going to use this to blend out haunted admittedly it's done a really nice job of that but you couldn't apart from like the fact that the shadow is now blended you can't really tell it's there and for me personally I like my light blues to have like a bit more of a kick and sort of it to be obvious that it is there but it's done a good job of blending out that shade so if you are into like you always have to have like a blending transition shade that one could work really well for you and it might make blues a little bit easier to use for you we're just gonna do exactly the same thing on this eye just gonna stamp that in I didn't also mention before there are a couple of like cute little embossings it's this shade skeleton which looks like a really really light white base lilac which it is and um, it's got a little pumpkin in it the little ghoulish has got a little spider in it and broomstick has got a little like skull and crossbones in it which is adorable I love an embossed pan I think that's one of my favorite things about the P. Louise palettes that literally every single pan has got something cute in it even if you do then destroy them straight away if you like me and you love like a big swirly brush in there okay so that is blended I'm gonna go in with the other side of that P. Louise brush which is like a small blender and I'm gonna go in with Haunted House which is the really dark blue and we're gonna start first off building up that outer corner Oh, that is so vibrant that is absolutely crazy pigmented and I'm just gonna start blending that into the crease and then we're gonna go back in with our big fluffy brush back in with ghoulish and we're gonna blend 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 cute and then I'm gonna do the very much the same process on the inner corner I'm gonna go right up to the crease of the inner corner and then I'm going to take that ghoulish again and I'm really, really gonna blend that inner corner because I really love it when you've got like a bit of like a blend in the inner corner. I just think it looks, it just takes your makeup to like the next level and really elevates it. I'm just gonna build that up a little bit, make sure it's as vibrant as I want it, which is not hard because damn, that's got some pigment. So that's kind of the shape of the halo we're going for. I'm just going to do the exact same on the other side. I don't like blending too much into the middle of my halo eyes because I find sometimes it can like distract from the shimmer that we're going to put there. Or if you were going to do like this would probably look really cool with that banana taffy shade in the middle of it. Um, but it's Ogun's eyes so I want those shimmers all over me you saw me when i put the shimmers on in the last look so you know i love a shimmer okay so taking that right up going back in with that blending it with this go all the way around it one last time i think some people are very very afraid of blue eyeshadow like i've seen it a lot recently because natasha denona have re released that trio chrome um quint with all the blues and everybody's been like oh that's a lot of blue and i'm like no you just with blues you've got to be patient you've got to be willing to put the work in but the results are so gorgeous when you have put that work in right okie dokie we're gonna take a flat brush i think i might do some do you know what let's do this one here which is screech which is a gorgeous like burnt orange because i think that would look fantastic like paired with the yellow we're going to put in the inner corner so we're just going to whack that on there oh that is pretty that's kind of like a the best way i could describe it's like a grapefruit color um kind of like a pinky burnt orange it's really beautiful I do want kind of a bit more of a pop though, so let's give it a try on the finger. Okay, I think I probably would glitter glue that one just because I think it would really pop with some glitter glue on it. Uh, we're just going to do the same on the other side. I'm going to lay it down first with a brush and then pack some extra shimmer on with my finger. 
this one is a little bit more hard pressed. I do find with Urban Design they have two very different like shimmer formulas. You either get the really, really like bitty almost formulas um, and then you get the ones that are slightly harder pressed. I do kind of want a bit more sparkles. So I think I'm gonna go in with Boo, which is this pink shimmer. I'm gonna take this on my little finger and I'm just gonna put this on top very lightly just in the middle of the lid oh yeah oh yeah that's the ticket right gonna do some blue under the eyes gonna take haunted again um we're just gonna blend that and i'm gonna blend that the whole way around so i want the blue to be a complete circle for now in the corners as well because what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take a little kind of flat fluffy brush this is an 11 from Spectrum and Katie Jane Hughes I'm going to take Banana Taffy this looks really pigmented I'm just going to tap some of that off and what I'm actually going to do is run this here so it's giving like a green to yellow up onto the nose kind of moment which I just think just really takes that to the next level and I'm actually going to use that and go round as well so just up into the brow bone and I'm going to do the same on the outer corner And that is the kind of spooky little look we're going for. I'm just going to pop on some mascara again and then I'm going to come back and do my lips. Okay, so we've already used the light shades for the lips. We're going to do the darker two now. Um, so we're going to start off with Shadow Creature. I feel like this is giving me like toxic waste, like toxic waste Barbie kind of vibes. You know, if that's your Halloween costume this year, do this look. <laughs> and that just does bring it down a peg or two, give it a kind of more like brown vibe. Um, but that is everything. I do hope you did enjoy my video. Um, I, let me know if you pick these up. Let me know if you film with them. I want to see your looks. Um, I'm really impressed with the quality. Great Odin's eye formula as always. And I can really see these lip products becoming a big part of my everyday kind of stash. So that's it from me today. If you did enjoy this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more from me, hit subscribe. And if you want to make sure you never miss another video, then hit the bell icon and YouTube will notify you every time I post. You've been fabulous. I've been Colour the Ball and I'll see you next time. Bye.